All right, on the count of three, we're going to cut the ribbon. Are you ready? Everyone count with me. One, two, three. As school dedications go, the event at the Maxine Smith Steam Academy was truly memorable for a number of reasons. First and foremost was the opening of a brand new school that also marked a significant partnership. Thanks so much uh, to the partnership uh, with CBU. Thank you so much for getting rid of that wall between town and gown. Uh, this is the epitome, a perfect example of what our institutions of higher learning. Mr. President, thank you so much. It also marked the revitalization of a Memphis neighborhood. So when I think about how we are doing, if someone were to ask me, in this neighborhood, this crossroads between Central and East Parkway with the Croc Center right there, with the Steve School here, with Middle College right upstairs, with CPU right over there, Mayor, what a great corner this is, right? This is the first school that you want for nothing. All of our schools should want for nothing. And this is just a start. And it starts with Maxine Smith, and I'm very happy. Thank you very much. There was a moment of unintended but appreciated humor. Usually, as was the case for every other speaker, their introductions preceded their remarks. In the case of Chief of Staff Reginald Porter, it was the other way around. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Reginald Porter, Jr., the Chief of Staff of Shelby County Schools. Oh, you already went. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Well, he seems like a nice man. <laughs> the event represented a moment of pride for the school's students, parents, and administration. After Superintendent Dorsey Hobson was honored in an unusual fashion. It is my pleasure to announce that the National Junior Honor Society chapter of Maxine Smith Steam Academy will officially be known as the Dorsey E. Hobson chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. Never before have I been so moved that when your principal presented me uh, with the distinction of having an honor society named after me. And I felt even better about it when she said the students voted. So you all just don't know how you all have made uh, my day and my week. And, you know, when things get hard, I can look over here at that plaque and say, you know what, uh, the students thought enough about me to name the honor society after me. And I thank you all so, so, so much. Thank you. But more than anything else, the heart of this ceremony was a salute and tribute to its namesake, Maxine Smith, one of the most influential Memphians of our time, and an inspiration to speaker after speaker. Not only was my mother very much involved in education, and she would tell all of you to do all you can to get the best education you can get, uh, she would be glad to know that the letters uh, in STEAM, what they stand for, and she would promote that wholeheartedly. Uh, but she would also tell you that that's not enough. And she would suggest to you that you need to be active in your community, that you need to be socially active, politically active, active in your church, active in civil rights, whatever you choose. But anything that affects those who are less fortunate or in need, she would insist that just getting an education, getting a job and doing well, that alone would not be enough. This is a special occasion for the city of Memphis. It's special because it preserves this beautiful building, which should be preserved, but more so, this beautiful building now has a spirit in it that is one of the most powerful spirits that's ever been known in the city of Memphis, the spirit of Maxine Smith. Ms. Maxine Smith would often say I gave it my best shot. And I challenge you, Superintendent Hobson, and my board colleagues, to continue to give it your best shot. These kids deserve the best shot at success and it happens through public education. Let this be the beginning. Mandy, for what you did and your community have done, let this be the blueprint of what can happen in East Memphis, Frazier, Whitehaven, all throughout this county if we put resources together and fight for public education. 
As the student ambassadors led guests on tours of the New Maxine Smith Steam Academy, Principal Alicia Brooks summed up the significance of the day perfectly. The one moment I believe is when the oil painting came out, when he brought out the painting and everyone had an opportunity to remember why this school was named Maxine Smith, because she was a pioneer in our community, because she believed in public education. So that I think was the moment that I'll take away from this experience forever.